the continent of Africa, in the country of Kenya, the 2007 national elections sparked terrible tribal violence, especially around the city of Eldoret, where many of our supported preachers reside. Thousands of homes were burned to the ground, and 1,200 people lost their lives. Soon, a new election will be held, and the many souls that live across these lands are rightfully fearful of a fresh upheaval of the horrors of the past. I'm Pastor Edward Masingo. I was saved in the year 1995. After clashes, pastor who was pastoring in this church had left and gone for another place. When I came, we, the church was burned down, so I, we, we had no place for worship. So we started with those few members we had to, to think and to pray. In the neighboring countryside, there lives another pastor named Julius with his family, whose farm was attacked. And still the land where the church was burned lies vacant. For years they have been praying to rebuild, but because of poverty, one small pile of boards is all they've been able to gather. In another home, a woman has only recently recovered from years of depression. After the violence, her brother's body had been discovered in their well. He threw him to the well for one year. And finally, they found him. Right here is where my house was. And when the raiders came, I was inside my house. And my wife was outside. Then she calls me and say, come out, the ladies are, are just burning our house. Just leave everything and come out. So I went running toward that small bush and the raiders were on this hill. And when I, re I realized that there's somebody behind me or in front of me, I ran. But when I reached here, I was shot. They shot me with an arrow. They hit me with an arrow on this side. Then I took the arrow and pulled it. And then I went behind this stone. You can see this stone. I just went behind this stone and I ran toward that small valley down there. So when I was there, they had already burned the house, the two houses, and also burned my mother's house. Then there was a big tree down there. So I went there. I prayed and then I left. I went to a nearby friend of mine and you can see his house. The house is over there. That's the man who rescued me and my life. They burned the churches down? Yeah. <laughs> they burned churches and all. They destroyed. So we need the prayers. There was tribal classes which destroyed everything, but God is good. Post-election clashes affected us, but we thank God because we are still standing with Jesus Christ. In our church, we have about five languages. We have about 50 members. We met many challenges, but Jesus is our hope. Ministry in this area, as you see, it has been very tough. But I thank Fine of Lundia because they have made my ministry be the way it is. I really thank them. So we thank for your support. Thank you and God bless you. And we really thank God that God has strengthened us and the members to come to the point we are now. So continue to stand with us, to pray for us, and God will bless you. As the new elections approach, there is much tension and uncertainty over the future. Horrible memories of the past are flooding back to these people. On one of the dirt roads in this territory grows a patch of beautiful lilies among thorns. The pastors and the believers across this land are truly brave and beautiful souls who have bloomed among many terrible heavy trials. Please do not forget them. Please pray for our dear brothers and sisters in Kenya.